Greetings Metalheads and welcome to No Nonsense Metal Reviews. I'm George and today I'm back with another instalment of underrated albums for you. Another album that, to be honest, I've had mixed feelings about over the years. It's an album that I haven't necessarily been, you know, endeared to all the time that I've had it in my collection or uh, since getting into this band. But it is an album that with subsequent listens I have kind of grown a little bit more fond of and actually I think that there's a lot there that deserves a lot more attention or a lot more credit if you like. So this particular underrated album comes from an all-time favourite band of mine, a band from up in West Yorkshire UK and they are well renowned, they are they are absolute legends within the death doom scene very gothic very deep very dark very melancholic at times but they are an absolutely delightful band to listen to and i'm talking about my dying bride now these guys have been around for a lot of years now but this album is in my opinion at this current time i'm willing to say that this is quite an underrated album I've listened to this a lot recently, and this is, of course, entitled 34.788% Complete. Not a good title, uh, and there's a few other fundamental issues with this as well. Not a good cover. Don't like that. Not a good font for the band. Not a good kind of style. It reminds me um, very much of Napalm Death with Diatribes terrible cover that's sort of trying to look very modern and like sci-fi it just it just looks awful to be honest it looks poor especially when you consider some of the very artistic very artsy experimental pieces that my dying bride had used for their album covers previously and uh, i've got a fine example here when we're talking about previous efforts might not be one of my favorite covers ever but i think this is a lovely cover this is, uh, of course, like Gods of the Sun. This is great, great album um, with a very, very eye-catching, interesting, kind of dark and sombre looking colour. A lovely little butterfly. Cool. Uh, and then even the next album, where the, the light at the end of the world, even that's better because we get the grand return of their proper font, their proper logo. But... Yeah, not, in, not impressed by uh, that album cover at all. However, there's a few other fundamental issues with this album as well. Released in, I believe it was 98, about then. So there's a few issues with this album. They've had, in the My Dying Bride style, they've had lineup changes um, between this and the previous album, which came out two years prior. Uh, this, like God to the Sun, at the time was considered to be something very special and very big it had uh, it got a lot of attention had a lot of good material on it as well and it's it's a very solid album it's a very solid death doom album very melancholic i should say and very gothic as well but this album they were trying clearly to be very experimental uh, martin was out of the band by this point um, Martin Powell contributing sort of the violins and sort of some of the orchestration, I believe, but the keyboards. He's out the band by this point. And what we've got is a little bit of a stylistic change. It's very experimental. That is one of the things that you really notice. The, the whole kind of sound is quite different. You take a, a track such as the opening track entitled The Whore, The Cook and The Mother, which is quite a cryptic song title anyway it's 11 or so minutes long and it has a very different kind of approach to the mix and the sound of the vocals Aaron Stainthorpe being a, a great vocalist a very theatric very grand vocalist his voice on and his vocal performance on that track in particular is totally muted and muffled it's sort of dulled down it's almost like um, he's singing and it's being recorded in the next room it just doesn't quite have the right 
sound, not not the right clarity anyway that a voice like his deserves. Instrumental wise, it's it's not that bad at all. However, the massive issue with that particular track is the fact that it's musically it's a very good track. Uh, you've got some really somber, sort of very gothic, almost industrial tinged um, sounding riffs as well throughout there. I mean, you've got um, some great guitar work from Andrew there, an absolute legend in the band and a truly fantastic guitar work, guitarist, um, just and alongside Calvin as well. Really good guitarists. They're really painting an emotive scene here, but the kind of mix and the whole quality of it doesn't quite do that justice. But then slap bang in the middle of the track from about four minutes in and then for a couple of minutes time duration we get this annoying interlude now my dying bride have not been strangers to sort of having like mid passages or these sort of middle sections of tracks that are quite sort of slow uh, i'm thinking black voyage from angel and the dark river that worked because that kind of like really built the suspense this is just annoying because it's almost like some sort of strange answering machine DJ set. It just doesn't really work in my opinion. It totally derails the pace of the track. Things do get better for the second track, the stance of Evander Sinqui, which is, yeah, that's definitely a very gothic track. There is very much gothic vibe here and I hate to throw the association in there, but it reminds me very much of Paradise Lost getting a lot of that paradise lost vibe from certainly from a track like that but that's very gothic very melancholic it's very my dying bride in all essence um certainly with the stuff that they've been doing on albums such as like gods of the sun it's a good track aaron's vocals um are improved a little bit on that track certainly the mix and the sounds works a bit better as it does for the next track which is der überliebend if that's pronounced correctly which is quite a quite a favorite track on this album for me that's quite a big sounding track it's quite dark it's got a real darkness to it but again just like the previous two tracks there's some great guitar work really prominent guitar work really nice bass tone drumming is faultless again it's really good not necessarily the best my dying bride material but those tracks certainly those three opening tracks are really strong my dying bride tracks and i think from repeated listens I have really come to appreciate just how good that material is compared to just some of their previous albums it certainly lives up to that expectation then we've got heroin chic or chic and that one not a big fan of at all very weird sort of like an odd spoken word kind of vibe going on there um, some interesting but good female vocals as well but just doesn't do it for me way too experimental way too kind of industrial gothic yeah derails it um apocalypse woman though that is a very good track i would say that is a very good track on the album um it's got that kind of melancholic dark vibe that we would expect from my dying bride of course and it's actually just a really good solid track definitely an enjoyable one um, I really love the prominence of the, the bass guitar there at the beginning. Really love that. It kind of builds the whole suspense. The riffs are great. The vocal work is brilliant as well. Um, I also enjoy the sort of intro part of bass level erotica. However, I think overall the track is a bit of a weird one. But some fantastic heavy riffing as well. Some fantastic guitar work throughout that track. Really heavy guitar work. Andrew and Calvin really sort of bouncing off each other there. Aaron delivering some good vocal work, although it's just that the whole thing is a bit sinister and a bit weird. Then we've got um, probably the other album highlight for me, which is Under Your Wings and Into Your Arms, which is actually a really brilliant track. That almost sounds like that could have come from like Gods of the Sun. It's got that kind of vibe. Really good. Very melancholic again. But it's a very, it's almost, it's got more of that kind of doomy vibe. The death metal side of the death doom has pretty much been sidelined here on this album. It's not very death metal at all. 
um, what we do get is more of a diluted kind of experimental gothic melancholic doom um, but actually some of the tracks do work such as as I say under your wings and into your arms very gothic very melancholic doom it's good though it's got some great riffs it really works on this particular incarnation of the album we've got follower as well which is a good bonus track but overall I would say that actually giving this a chance and appreciating the fact that actually this is just a really experimental piece that was almost a transitional album for the band it's actually better than what I was giving it credit for uh, for a long time I pretty much overlooked it totally and this is an album or this is a band I should say whose albums I listen to quite frequently um, I will quite regularly work my way through their catalogue again and I have been skipping this one for quite a while but having given it another opportunity and giving it a chance actually there's a lot of good quality material there if you're yet to be convinced I would say check out the stance of Evander Sinqui, Der Überlebend and probably Apocalypse Woman or Under Your Wings and Into Your Arms so there's at least four good solid tracks there solid My Dying Bride tracks check it out it is underrated, but it's understandable when it sits between a quite a quite an important album like Gods of the Sun and then one of their best albums, which followed it a year later, uh, The Light at the End of the World. An absolute benchmark Death Doom, al Doom album, very gothic, very dark, but absolutely brilliant album at that. So check it out, 34.788% complete by My Dying Bride. Yorkshire's Death Doom Legends, very gothic. What are your thoughts and opinions on this album? I would say that it's quite underrated, that I personally had underrated it. Maybe you have too. What are your thoughts and opinions? But thank you very much for watching, my friends. Do check out the album and do check back soon for more reviews and recommendations. Feel free to like and subscribe as always. Take care, my friends, and stay heavy.